Hiya, Georgia Burns here. I'd like to show you how I made this card. The inspiration for this card came from Pinterest. And it's nothing like the one I liked on Pinterest because I don't have the dies. So this is the one from Pinterest. Can you see it? I hope you can. Ooh, that way. You see they've used the dies. So what I did... Oh, by the way, this is made by... Carol Blake, I think. From Crafting on Hat Blogspot. I hope I got that right. So, put that out of the way. So, because I don't have the dies for this stamp set and it's called Oh So Eclectic, I went through my dies. And I found this die here, which actually cuts in the paper, and that is Wallet 33. I've got Wallet 33, and that is this die. So we're going to use that. I also cut out... Some of these, oh you can't see over there, some of these leafy things in uh, Rich Raspberry, which I used on the first card. And I've still got some left over, which I'll use on this card. So, and everything else I cut by hand, except for the leaves. The leaves, I did use the leaf punch. So that, they're easy, punch them out. And these I cut out by hand. So to get started you'll need the Oh So Eclectic stamp set and the sentiment come from Varied Vases Birthday Wishes. The card you'll need is a white, Whisper White um, card base at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth. Two pieces of Whisper White at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A scrap of Whisper White, and I'm making these all in yellow. So I'm using Daffodil Delight. So we need a piece of Daffodil Delight at two and a half inches by four and a half inches to go underneath. The lattice bit when we cut it out. Also need a piece of ribbon and the only yellow ribbon I've got is this and this is just satin ribbon which I got from my ribbon shop. 20 meters 15 millimeters just says yellow so, and you'll need about six seven inches all we're going to do is fold it in half and just lay it down okay so to get started we'll need a whisper white bit and the big shot and let's take you oh I did it again Take that out so you can see. So I'm going to sit that on there. And with this lattice die, I'm going to sit it on this side because if I put it that side, oh, I could. Do I want it that side? No, I want it this side. So I'm going to sit it there. I think if I remember rightly I had to turn it over and go through again but we'll see oh no it's cut really well so just take it off I will I 
have to clean that. I should put that there and clean it afterwards. Poke these out. Poke them out afterwards. Right. That's all we need the big shot for today. So get rid of that. And with my pokey tool, just pop these out. There we have it. And then with the yellow piece of card, which I've lost, here it is. This will go underneath like that. So we'll stick that on with some glue. Just go around the edge. Not for me finger. Right, and we'll stick that down, making sure we cover all the holes, just like that, and then we'll stick this on the card base. We'll get some stamping. Right, for the leaves, as you can see, I've coloured them in. The way I did that was I got a couple of sponges. This one, uh, this one, my greens, and with peppers as. And the peppers are sponge. All I did was just stamp it down. Didn't rub. Just stamp down a bit of area. Hoping it's big enough. Test it out. Yeah. And a bunch of leaf out. I need that so I won't get rid of it. Right, finish with that. Then with old olive and an old olive sponge, all I did was just go around the edges of the, each leaf. Bend them over so they're out the way of every other leaf. And that is all I've done for the leaves. So I only have to do one because I do have the other two. She says so there's one hiding under all this junk, and there's two. So that's that. Now to do the flowers, let's get rid of this, I don't need this anymore. I used Daffodil Delight and I used this image and this image. So what I did with that was I got my Daffodil Delight and I got the um, veins bits or the skeleton of the flower and I stamped it down like that 
Then I've got the, ooh, don't need that one yet, the infill of the flower. Now I've got to get it the right way, which is that. And I stamped it down on top and hoping I've hit the target, which I have. Get rid of that. And we get a pair of scissors. And we cut it out. Now, I cut it out on the lines, not on the infill. I like the leaves, I only have to do one because I've already done the other two. Oh. There we have it. And I have the other two here. Oh, one. So I should put them with my leaves. And then now we need to do the sentiment. And for that we need Memento Black Ink. And the stamp set Birthday Wishes. Which we'll just stamp down. do need is the label punch which is that one all shiny and we'll punch this out it's a lovely size for this as well and we'll finish with the scrap paper And that just needs dimensionals on the back of it. So we'll do that now. And I need little ones. So we'll just put three of these on. So that's that ready. Now these things here, I just chopped them up, so I have one that size, Let's see what else I've got here, um, one that size, and this never cut properly, this one, which is a pity, because I could do, oh, hang on, maybe it did. Just need to help getting out. There we are. That's fine, I can use that one. I think they'll be rubbish now. So, there's our ribbon, there's our flowers, and our leaves. I think we should put this card together. Right, we do need a glue dot. Because what we want to do is glue this in, uh, fold this in half for it to sit like that there. And so it stays in half, we want to add a glue dot to the inside. So let's put that there and then fold it over. 
and then to glue it to the paper we just add one more glue dot and then find out how we want to place it I think like that's enough and we get our flowers and arrange them I'm going to have that one on top and these two can be like that yes so to get these to stick down all I did was glue them ah that's because I made a mistake the first time that's the right way right yeah it didn't stamp very well the first time so I turned the card over Now the leaves, before the card dries, I forgot, you need to just glue them, I sit one under there, like that, all I've done is put a spot of glue under each leaf. And this one will sit on the bottom, which will go just there. And then with these little bits, we'll have this one coming at the side. This one coming at the bottom, just at the side of the leaf, and this one, I'm not keep quite keen on that one. Let's just have this bit. coming out of there. I could add another little one as well. Alright, mess that one. Let's see if I can find another. There's another little bit. do just fine there. And then with this one we will put some dimensionals on it. We'll just put two. that without the backing a bit further down that's it all right nice little mess at the side of me here don't need that either and then the sentiment Gonna place there. And 
we want some gems so what I did on this one I put clusters of gems about so I'm going to do the same so I've put three gems in each cluster to fish out some more of these little gems. I'm sure I've got another packet somewhere in my gem drawer. I do have a drawer full of gems. i put one here. Right. Because these four add up to 12, which is an even number, we need an odd number. I'm just going to stick one there. And then we stuck one on each end of the sentiment. So that's that. Right. The inside, what I did on this one, is I just stamped one of the upright flowers so we're going to do that on here and that is this image I never got it ready because I forgot so I'll just do that in yellow in daffodil delight and I haven't done all the stem because we don't need all the stem on it. There we have it. And we just stick this on the inside. So there we have it, a nice bright flowery card. <clears throat> Let's do that one again. That's better. So I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please um, subscribe and press the bell button next to it and then you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thank you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.